Once upon a time, there was a fungus, an incredible mushroom known as Ganoderma lucidum. Ganoderma are a fantastic looking mushroom resembling something supernatural or straight out of a fairy tale such as Alice in Wonderland. Now, does that sound a bit ridiculous to you? Well, that's how Organo describes the mushrooms that go into their coffee. Personally, I've never really heard of mushroom coffee before, but it's their biggest selling point. It's on the front page of their website and allegedly this wonder mushroom has a ton of health benefits. It's a miraculous ingredient marketed as one of these herb staples in Asia that's now gaining popularity in the Western world. Frankly, that's how a lot of scams out here present themselves. Sellers will claim to use traditional Chinese medicines in their products, maybe to keep you balanced while using their natural treatments. These buzzwords are everywhere with MLMs, which as we know, are notorious for unproven health claims. If they don't peddle a random all natural ingredient as a cure-all, they claim to use cutting edge modern science instead without ever really telling you what that science really is. And a few bold ones might say they do both. Organo Gold is clearly in the all natural herbal healing section, but they look pretty plain on the surface. Like they're just selling coffee with some mushrooms in it. As long as the mushrooms aren't poisonous, there's no harm done, right? Reviewers seem to like the taste and while they're a bit pricey, it's cheaper than Starbucks apparently. However, a good product should speak for itself. You shouldn't need to lie in order to sell it. So when distributors market their coffee as having all these fantastic medical benefits, yeah, I get pretty wary. One Montreal based dealer stated on their website, Ganoderma has been known for centuries for alkalizing and oxygenating the body to establish the foundation for a lifetime of good health, removing the basis for osteoporosis, arthritis, adult onset diabetes, heart disease, and many other degenerative conditions, including cancer. No disease can survive in a super oxygenated environment. When your body has sufficient oxygen, it thrives. Now you thought we were talking nonsense before we said you've got a supernatural Disney mushroom in your coffee? Well, no, that was just the tip of the iceberg. These magical mushrooms are apparently going to cure anything from digestive issues to sexual dysfunction. You can detoxify, boost your immune system and get rid of harmful antioxidants all in one. And wait, I thought antioxidants would be a good thing, but anyway, it doesn't matter because you don't need them anymore. This magic mushroom coffee is everything you need. And if you don't like coffee, lucky for you, they've got tea, hot chocolate, and even personal care items like soap and other nutraceuticals. Unfortunately, there's more to Organo Gold than its products. There are also questionable sellers, predatory business models, lawsuits, and shady founders too. So hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Multilevel Mondays. I'm the Illuminati, and today we're gonna be talking about the MLM known as Organo Gold. First, let me put it out there that yes, while some herbalists do classify reishi mushrooms, otherwise known as the Ganoderma lucidium as an adaptogen or a substance that can help the body resist different types of stress, NYU's Lango Medical Center explains that there's no meaningful evidence that proves this is actually real. But does that stop Bernardo Chua? Absolutely not. Back in 2003, the Food and Drug Administration sent Chua a letter for his promotion of Ganoderma capsules. On his website, he claims that the mushroom could detect hidden diseases, remove excess cholesterol and remove toxins. He also featured testimonies of the mushroom treating gout, diabetes, and psoriasis. In other words, Chua promised his customers the world, though he absolutely could not deliver. Not only were the claims violating their codes, but even his labeling was an issue because it didn't meet the necessary food labeling regulations. Now, as to the specifics as to what was wrong with the labeling, I can't know for sure because there wasn't much detail given, but, All you know is something wasn't being listed or described appropriately. But you can imagine how fractured a company is when they have to go back to basics because even that's not fully in place. But taking a glance at this warning letter and you'll notice that it's not Organo Gold as the company listed, it's Gano Excel. Now bear with me for a moment while I take you on a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Gano Excel was established in Malaysia back in 1995 by Mr. Liao. There's a lot of strange claims about who Liao is online. One website called Best Lifetime Income claims that he was a research scientist in the 1980s, whereas the Excel site says that he conducted scientific research. Now, those things aren't necessarily the same thing and neither seems keen on proving his credentials. But anyway, in 1997, Liao invented, quote, the world's first instant three-in-one coffee enriched with his mushroom. And personally, I don't really trust any three-in-one products. If you're going to do one thing, just do that one thing really well. I've never really heard of a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash that actually does the job better than the separate products. Just saying. 
Now, Gano XL spread internationally into Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, and several other countries. In 2010, they opened more distribution centers, and in 2013, they shut down in the US and Canada. Their own website timeline forgets to mention this on their handy timeline, but no worries, I'm sure they just forgot. This single company, Gano XL, inspired a bunch of Gano mushroom lovers, and there's really no other way to say it. If you know how MLM spawned from MLMs, that whole situation, and you maybe get a pyramid scheme, I mean, I'm sorry, a direct business selling model, at ground level, you'll end up having a lot of people beneath you if you get in early. Now, you might even make a lot of money because, hey, you're at the tippy tippy top there. But, and this is just a personal observation here, even some of these higher ups don't exactly have a lot of loyalty to their companies. They may not have a steady income if it's all based on downline, so they're incentivized to run away, join a different MLM and take their downline with them or start a new one altogether. In 2008, when Gano Excel experienced challenges with its growth, that's when Bernardo Chua created Organo Gold. How I see it, this is the story we're left with. Chua might've seen Gano Excel struggling to break into this market and was frustrated by their failure. Maybe he thought to himself that he could do it better and decided to create Organo Gold based on the same products and using the same business model. Maybe he thought he'd get the jump on the market even before Gano XL could. He just knew he could make a lot of money off of an idea that already existed. I find it really hard to have any respect for Chua if this is how he founded Organo. And I know I'm reading between the lines a bit here, but his LinkedIn says that Liao was a mentor of his. So it seems as if there was some sort of connection there. Plus, if there isn't any malicious or shady intent behind Chua making Organo, then why is he using such similar marketing and acting as if Organo is special? I mean, come on, you worked for a company that made this product over a decade before Organo existed. He would have known that these cure-all effects were garbage, but his sellers are out here perpetuating the idea all the same. But all right, so these mushrooms have been around for quite some time and there's no proof that they're actually curing anyone. So what are they doing? One of the largest lawsuits against Organo Gold alleges that this mushroom can cause platelet dysfunction and act as a blood thinner. Marlon Johnson, the plaintiff in the case, said that he had serious complications after a gastric bypass surgery because of the mushrooms. Not only does Organo not warn anyone about this potential side effect on their product labeling, but this means that they're potentially putting a risky blood thinning mushroom into their coffee. I guess being able to market your product as some ancient balancing remedy is more important than any genuine harm it could cause. And this is no small harm or minor complication either, let me be clear. When Marlon had surgery in 2013, the procedure itself was fine, but he was vomiting blood and suffered from blood clots afterwards. His hemoglobin level went from 11 to six and his INR or internal normalized ratio was close to three. An INR test is used to evaluate clotting and a normal level should be about one. To survive, Marlon needed to be resuscitated with blood and platelet transfusions, as well as undergo emergency surgery. After an investigation, Ganoderma lucidum from his Organo Gold coffee consumption was pinpointed as the cause. I wanted to see if this truly could be possible and if there's enough evidence to wholeheartedly say that this mushroom could alter your platelets. And if so, it would be obvious that Organo Gold should have some kind of warning label, right? Well, there are a few studies and articles out there, whether on NCBI or Medical News Today, which state that reishi mushrooms, also known as the Ganoderma, have side effects. A lot more research is still needed here, but it sure does seem like there's enough to warrant a little disclaimer on the box that says, hey, maybe don't take this if you're going into surgery soon or post-op. Yet, as far as I can tell, Organo Gold still has no such warnings on their products. When you click their Royal Black Coffee, for example, the first few paragraphs in their description brag about all the unproven health benefits. Even finding the ingredient list was pretty difficult, at least on this particular product. On their Gourmet Black Coffee, there's a tab right beside product details where all that's listed. This tab simply doesn't exist on the Royal Black Coffee though, which is a bit weird. I'd like to hope that if you actually buy this product, you'd be able to see the ingredients on the back of the box or something, but it seems ridiculous that you can't actually view it before buying it let alone a small disclaimer that says, hey, these mushrooms may be connected with blood thinning properties. Plus, I've also seen it said that anyone pregnant, breastfeeding, and with low blood pressure, undergoing surgery, or with a blood disorder should avoid these mushrooms because of the risks involved. If you've got none of these risk factors, then by all means, I don't think this mushroom coffee would actually hurt you. It's just a bit stupid to me that Organo would rather play up unproven benefits instead of loudly and clearly disclosing very real dangers. Now, the case between Marlon Johnson and Organo has a sealed verdict, so ultimately, I don't know what happened here. Whatever the decision may be, clearly Organo didn't take the verdict all that seriously. Otherwise, I feel like they really would have reconsidered the ingredient as a whole, as well as the claims surrounding it. (laughs) 
Obviously, considering that they're here on multi-level Mondays, Organo Gold is a multi-level marketing company. But here's the best part. They aren't actually even good enough by MLM standards. CBS News said that for years, Organo claimed to be a pending member of the Direct Selling Association or the DSA. MLMs that apply to become a member get a pending status while the DSA vets them to make sure that they, quote, operate their business in an ethical manner, a process that takes about a year. Organo Gold's membership lapsed in 2013, which as far as I can tell, means that they weren't able to meet said requirements. Personally, I find this laughable in the worst of ways. Like I don't consider MLMs ethical to begin with. They operate very similarly to pyramid and Ponzi schemes, depending on which one we're talking about. And they're notorious for unproven claims and dangerous products. And additionally, on top of that, it seems like they love to play jump rope with the law. So for Organo not to even meet the DSA standards should raise about a thousand red flags for everybody. And I know to a degree that I'm speaking in vague or general terms here, but just to give you an overview, the DSA is effectively the organization that keeps MLMs alive and lobbies on their behalf. They're the who's who of MLMs and are always a part of them, whether that's Amway, Mary Kay, Herbalife, or any other gigantic direct sellers that always seem to mysteriously get away with just about everything. When the FTC was urged by 81 congressmen to change their stance on MLMs, the DSA's political army came in and put pressure on them to act in favor of their businesses. For years, they've lobbied against state level laws that prohibit endless recruitment chains, some of the only laws that would protect consumers below the federal level. According to The Observer, the DSA's educational branch, the Direct Selling Education Foundation, has studies that support the MLM industry. But these studies, at least on the outside looking in, don't seem unbiased in the slightest, quote, This is not dissimilar from other industries that pay for research and that not all research paid for by groups who represent MLMs will be pro MLM. However, it is undeniable that there is a startling lack of academic research on MLMs and pyramid schemes. In a nutshell, that's the DSA. That's who they are and what they do. And Organo Gold couldn't even get in. Now, the DSA Code of Ethics is 27 pages long, so I'm not about to go through every single possible reason as to why they may have been rejected, but there's going to be a few glaring reasons. See, the DSA wants their MLMs to be difficult to find fault with. You can't require inventory purchases. There has to be some sort of warranty. Experience shouldn't be needed, and you can't have too many health claims, things of that nature. That's the Code of Ethics for the DSA, and Organo hasn't met them. So seemingly, they must have broken at least one of these guidelines, at least, by this series of assumptions. Organo, for whatever it's worth, has said they're applying for numerous DSAs all over the world, seemingly downplaying their relationship. Still, if they didn't care all that much about being a part of this one, why insist on mentioning a pending membership in the first place? That reference, by the way, was actually deleted at the DSA's request, and there's no sign of their organization on Organo's website at the present moment. There's also not a lot of information on their website in terms of becoming a seller and what the process might look like at least not without entering a ton of personal information. But I did come across an old Organo trading video. Throughout the video, the company continues to put things in easy attainable language. You just have to penetrate only 1% of the coffee market and you've already got millions of customers. And sure, 1% might sound like an easy number to reach, but it's really not when you've got such a wide competitive marketplace. They also say that signing people up is just one path to business and they offer seven possible paths. They conveniently leave out which method is far more effective in the long run though. And there are also the classic claims. They offer world-class training. You can work from home and make your own hours and get yourself your own new BMW in no time at all. Plus, while you can get started with a $50 kit, their sellers strongly recommend you buy a gold pack for almost $2,000 and they very strongly recommend it. But in case you need more reason to be suspicious of their business model, let me give you another. Their name was caught up in a $13.7 million Ponzi scheme and Organo didn't even notice. Let me explain. This guy, Nguyen An, ran an MLM called Fuke Bao, and I'm so sorry if I do not pronounce that correctly, um, but that name, Investment Joint Stock Company. Now that company went by another name, so it was known as the 68 Company. And 68 went around convincing people it was a part of Organo Gold and 868, a second reiteration of his company solicited investment via packages ranging from 540 to $1,570. According to Behind MLM, Nguyen's businesses were really nothing more than Organo Gold distributorships. It was like he made his own MLM using an MLM's products, like he opened up his own branch. 
From July 2015 to February 2016, he and 13 accomplices got about 860 investors to put in $13.7 million. And they used some of that money to pay off old investors with new money and continuing the chain from there, AKA a classic Ponzi scheme. Now, Organo Gold wasn't necessarily involved here despite their logo being on Nguyen's branding. It looked like he just stole their branding to seem more legitimate. So I wouldn't say that Organo did anything illegal. Still, how weird is it that they just didn't notice? Organo didn't open in Vietnam until December, 2015, and they would not have seen that marketing like at all? Like did none of the almost 900 investors even try to fact check with Organo? It just seems so odd to me. I would have been more confused as to how the hell they did notice if Nguyen had actually been buying Organo coffee, because then they surely should have noticed all the orders coming in. But Organo claims that Nguyen's products were counterfeit. I suppose it just shows how shady this industry already is that some seriously questionable activity can look perfectly legitimate, just like any other branch of this actually reputable MLM. In my opinion, it doesn't really seem like Nguyen had to work that hard to even convince people he was part of Organo. Maybe because comparing them to a Ponzi scheme isn't that far off the mark, but I digress. By this point, we know that Organo sells mushroom coffee with unproven health benefits. We know that they've got more beneath the surface and even the DSA won't accept them and they don't seem to notice when a Ponzi scheme uses their name. So let's dig just a hair deeper. What does Organo do behind closed doors and what have their sellers, customers, and even former partners said about them? And before we dig into Organo's dirt, shall we say, let's take a quick moment to thank today's sponsors. It's the most festive time of the year and HelloFresh is here to help make the most of every moment. From holiday hosting to dinners during busy weeknights, you can count on HelloFresh to deliver fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes. HelloFresh's festive eats make mealtime a snap. Choose from holiday inspired dinner recipes, seasonal add-ons, or even a three course offering, all designed to make holiday meals extra yummy and easier than ever. And with over 35 recipes available to choose from each week, there's something to please everyone. You can choose from family friendly, fit and wholesome, or even veggie. Plus you can easily customize your meals by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading your proteins, or even adding protein to a veggie meal. And if you're traveling over the holidays, HelloFresh has plans that work with your schedule. You can change your preferences, delivery day, and address in just a few clicks. So if you're ready to get cooking this holiday season, make sure you go to hellofresh.com MLM18 and use code MLM18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. Again, that's hellofresh.com slash MLM18 and use code MLM18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. Let me introduce you to Jay Noland. He, Shane Morand, Bernard Ochua, Holton Bugs, and a silent partner all created Organo Gold. When you've got that many founders, sure, they're bound to disagree, but the claims Noland has levied against the company are pretty telling. He sued them for racketeering and conspiracy and lengthy recordings of him ranting about his former partners have been posted online. The website where they were posted, Organo Scam, isn't available anymore, but you can still find it archived on the Wayback Machine. Admittedly, it's pretty hard to try and take Nolan seriously when he claims that he's been forced to start his own Ganoderma company, effectively following in Chua's footsteps and continuing this chain of one MLM spawning another. Still, it's not exactly a good look to have a former founder suing the company. As for what customers think, there's not a lot of positive there either. For one, Organo Gold is allegedly very pushy no matter where they go. They've sent thousands upon thousands of emails to people in Barbados, promising a ground floor opportunity and a lucrative commission structure with five and six figure earnings monthly. Back in 2012, when these emails went out, the Barbadans were struggling, the economy was in a particularly bad place and job loss was common. Organo seized that opportunity, mass emailing anyone and everyone with these promises. Secondly, there's that cult-like behavior that we see in MLMs. By no means is Organo a cult, but they've been accused of having the attitude of one. The blog, Don't Drink the Coffee reads, those little meetings inside the cheap hotels and shopping mall business rooms seem reminiscent of the People's Temple gathering. One guy took the podium in a recent undercover investigation and began talking about all the fantasticals of the compensation plan and the coffee itself. You could see the poor people with stars in their eyes hoop and holler as though they were being swayed by Jesus Christ himself. If Jim Jones was still alive, he would be at an Organo Gold meeting and tainting the coffee with false hopes and dreams, thereby killing the masses bank accounts with auto ships, seminar fees, other fees, travel fees, material fees, 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 fees. And yeah, that sounds a bit extreme, but Organo Gold really does talk itself up to these like godly levels with the way they claim to change people's lives. 
Apparently, Chua even knights people on stage and literally holds up a prop sword and knights them during Organo Gold conferences. The whole thing struck this reviewer as cultish and said that the company was overdoing it in the strong member-based department. And yeah, having devoted employees and customers is important, but Organo Gold is life for these people when it's really just a mushroom coffee. As amazing as their products supposedly are, Organo Gold has allegedly resorted to stealing distributors from other MLMs to try and gain more distributors of their own. At least this is what Titan Global LLC claims. Titan's founders also say that Organo misrepresented what sellers could earn with them in order to take their downstream network of independent representatives or IRs. Organo, if you've got such a great opportunity, babes, why do you feel the need to lure and lie to other people assuming that these claims are true? If it is, again, it's just a shame. Despite the various suits and complaints, there's not a ton of information and there's certainly not a ton of action against them either. I tried to look up some reviews, whether from customers or former sellers to see if this company is even half of what it's chalked up to be. Some called it a scam and others said you may or may not like it. One blog has documented a whole host of accusations claiming that one preacher in Atlanta had his entire church involved in the MLM. And they claimed that he used the church as a platform to quote, gather their minions and swindle from the poor. One of their 2014 posts claims that one of the leaders of this MLM is a sex hungry idiot that harassed a woman to sleep with him at an Organo Gold conference. And as so much of this is alleged or from anonymous sources, it's impossible to verify any of this. So take it for what it's worth. Now, truthfully, there aren't all that many stories from former sellers out there. I did learn that Organo apparently filed for a restraining order against a couple ex-Crown Diamond sellers, Mr. and Mrs. Ventura, because they tried to bring their distributors over to another company. If that isn't ironic when the CEO of Organo did a similar thing to Gano Excel, then I'm not really sure what is. All in all, I truthfully don't see anything special about Organo. If you really love the taste of mushroom coffee, then go buy some mushrooms at a grocery store and you'll save yourself money. And in the process, maybe keep yourself from needing a blood and platelet transfusion should you happen to meet a random risk factor that Organo doesn't disclose. But with all of that being said, that's where we're going to end today's episode of Multi-Level Mondays. I hope you learned something new here today. And if you did, make sure that you're liking, following and subscribing to stay up to date on all the latest episodes. Again, thank you so much for making it to the end of this episode. I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.